Right, good morning everyone, welcome to this week's video. So we're on the River Waveney today, we've got a rod and a net, and uh, we've also got the Alpaca pack raft on our back here that we've been sent to us by uh, Pack Raft Europe. We're gonna give that a go, get that out of the bag today, and see what we can catch. <laughs> Right, good morning everyone. Thanks for watching this week's video. Um, we've been kindly sent a pack raft from Pack Raft Europe to give a test. Uh, the pack raft that we've been sent is the Alpaca Caribou, which is specifically made for bike rafting. Um, I've never had a go on a pack raft before. I'm a complete virgin when it comes down to it. I've got a fair bit of experience with canoeing and kayaking, so I'm really, really looking forward to giving this a go. It's going to be really, really good to be able to extend my hiking adventures, my fishing, and just generally exploring the areas and just get into places that you never really could get to. But anyway, we're going to head up the river, we're going to cast a couple of lines, and then uh, we'll see where we get with the pack raft. It's got out a bit warm now, this weather, don't know what it's doing. Anyway, nothing on this swim, we're going to head further up the river that way. Right, the first things first, you'll be really, really surprised at the weight and how small this thing packs down. So this is my dry bag that I've got here and I've literally got everything for today inside of this dry bag. So we'll just get a few of the bits out and then I'll pull out the pack raft. So there we go, that is the size of it. So this weighs 2.2 kilos, all of this. So this is the pack raft and the stuff bag inside of this bag here. So we'll just lay this out and we'll just have a look at some of the features that it's got. So this dry sip at the back here, this is a really ingenious idea this is. So basically, you can stuff pretty much all of your gear actually inside of the boat, zip it up and fill it up. So we'll have a go at that first. So that's the bag inside, and then all we're going to do is just pull that dry zip. Right, so the boat is filled up using this valve on the back here. So this blue piece inside here, this turns. So this is fully open, and then turning it to the right, that's a one-way valve. So just make sure that's selected on the one-way valve when you fill it up. And then what we've got here is you've got the fill bag here, and the fill bag basically just screws onto here. And that makes it airtight and then the bag itself is here and then all you need to do is just trap the air inside of this and then just close it up and fill up the boat Right, and then all you need to do is, once you've got it pretty much filled up, you've got the valve on the one way there, you just need to just literally just inflate using your lungs just to give it a little bit more pressure. Right, 
And there we go, that's the body of the boat done. Right, and then the only other thing we've got left to do is inside of the boat is just inflate the seat. So this is just this is done just by blowing into this uh, this nozzle here. So really that hasn't taken a great deal of time to set up really at all and you're not carrying a great deal of kit with you and I really love that ingenious idea with the dry zip at the back that you can put all your gear inside of it. So if you look at this boat here you can see on the bow there the bow is quite sort of uh, positively buoyant and that's obviously the way it's designed so you can carry a bike on the front of it. But anyway let's get it in the water and see how it is. So the only thing we've got to assemble now is just the paddle and uh, as you see on the walk down it packs up really small. It's a four piece paddle clips like so and there we go so there's the paddle right let's get the buoyancy aid on and uh, let's get it in the water and see what it's like Right, this is going to take a bit of use getting used to paddling this because it does turn pretty much on the spot as soon as you stick a paddle in so it's going to be close paddles i think really for this what an absolute fantastic piece of kit i can get another bag in the front here i've got all of my stuff dry inside of the boat here this is really really going to be able to extend my my little micro adventures and my adventures Thanks for watching today's video. It is just a very, very quick video and just get the pack raft out and have a go at it and see what it's like. We're gonna do a full review later on in the week on this uh, pack raft. Thanks to Pack Raft Europe for sending us out. There's a link to uh, Pack Raft Europe in the description below and we'll see you outdoors next week back out on the pack raft.